I don't want to spoil it. That was going to be my next question. This was so crazy. Because I seen you in the studio with a couple new phones. It was crazy. Shout out to that boy TC. The day I think you had came, we had just left. We had to go. I think I had to go host somewhere. I'm like, damn, I think be sly pulling out. I think you should have told me. I would have through. Yeah. So, um, it, do you want to reveal it? Or, or, do, or do you just want to talk about how the record came about? I ain't going to reveal it. Okay. Okay, we're going to hold it down. Then. Man, fuck it, bro. We're going to tell him. <laughs> we got to tell him. That man B Slime was in the studio. Streets is watching Shade 4 or 5. Of course, it's me, the most energetic entertainer. Manny Supreme, another edition of Who to Watch for. One time for DJ Drama, Don Cannon, TC, Sarah Vivon, my dog DJ Iceberg, always playing, spinning that new shit. Spin Speaking of new shit, uh, I got my brother in the studio with me. Uh, one of the most creative. You know, I listen to his music when I just feel like going and get me some money. You should do the same. I got my brother B Slime with me today. What's, what's going on, bro? How you feeling, man? I'm great. You good? First off, where you get that Supreme suit from? Oh, no, they motherfucker here. Um, Can you show the camera? Where it, they came in here staying. It's raining yeah, outside. You came here like, um, come on. Where I get this shit from, man? On a Thursday, twins? You came here like that on a Thursday? Nah, like, I got, you got the hockey jersey on. Show. I'm chilling. Nah, I'm chilling. You sure they don't you fly. Shit, it, come on. On shoes, man. Nah, I forgot where I got it from though. But I this shit, I think I got this shit from um, what the white nigga name man who getting that get, buy the shoes? Um, Pat. Pat, that's where I got this shit from. Pat. Shout out Pat, man. And he texts me. I already know. <laughs> already. Do you be shopping around in like the boutiques here in Atlanta, like the full circles, the nah. the good times? I don't even go outside, bro. For real? You just, now you just told us that you be on the Call of Duty. Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. So. I can't get into it. Like, have you always just been playing there? Was like, you said you're nice at 2K. I'm gonna have to see that for myself. No, nah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Everything. I Scale do, of one bro, to I'm ten, fine, bro. Scale of one bro, to ten. Ten. You got a new one. You got 24. I only see. I only. I stopped playing. See, you bullshitting me. Listen, I got off for it because I'm, I'm so focused on Call of Duty. I don't care who you go get. You go get a nigga, an expert at Call of Duty. I don't think he better than me. So how how does it work? Like is like, do you have like a ranking when you yeah, win? I got like what's your right, record right now? My rank like nine eighty or some shit like that. Is that five? Yeah, man. They they start you. They start you like lower here. You start at zero. And you had a nine eighty. I been nine eighty. So I have seen they add a new folks like the Nicki Minaj, the Savage and shit. Mm -hmm. What be the most like? What be the thing that just I can't get into it? It's just like that shit really like hype, bro. It don't matter about who you, who you go get. And you I got, can play with other systems though, right? right? I got a right now. I'm using a goddamn. My operator is a girl. I got a girl because girls like on the game. Yeah. All that heavy shit, big guns and shit, like make you run slow. So I just be using like light shit. Just yeah. Shit fast. And getting it done for real. I'm well, cold for real, bro. I, I get like 21 kills. I'm gonna download it, and we gonna hop on, and then we 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 gonna we gonna see how it ran. So you on 2K23? You ain't on 24 yet. I ain't even, I ain't even You gotta get that new 2K though. I'm, I'm willing. I, I will. What they want for it on uh, PlayStation Network? I think the the Kobe version like a hundred some, but the, the, the generic version like eighty or whatever. But we we, we gonna have to run that. I say less. We gonna have to run that. I know I know Cole in real life too though. Okay, we can hoop. I bet every person that coming. Ladarius tried it. Peasy was talking shit. And see, I beat PZ and his homeboys at the studio. I don't know he probably don't want to talk about that, but it's like shit. I don't like to pop the shit like that, but it's like when they try, they try to pop the shit, he's like, I'll be having them. So we're going to have to set that up. So no, really. Call of Duty 2K in real life. Man, we can do a real life Call of Duty, however you want to do just it. Just a, a day of just going and getting it. First and foremost, man, how you been? I've been seeing you out and about. You got some new music on the way. You about to be traveling. Talking about going to Delaware next month. What's your mental process been with just creating and, and putting this new music on? I'm just staying focused and handling the business mm -hmm. Wow, the team gone for a minute. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I'm straight, though. Mentally, I'm like, I'm good. I just try to stay away from it. I don't want to be around nobody right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's been your motivation? Like, has have you been more locked into the studio? Have you been taking more time for yourself, being with the family since everything been going on? Like, what's been your day to day? Because I know a lot has changed. Like, what's been your day to day for real? Be with my kids, mm -hmm. and then studio. It's like working both of them at the same time, trying to. I be wanting to take them to the studio, but no, nah, they too, <laughs> they tripping. Yeah, no. Nah. Do but you? Yeah. Do you um, find new motivation? Like, what's your 
process, like your creative process now where you're in the studio, is it like more so of like what you're seeing now in the bounce? Since you say you don't be out. And I personally don't see you outside like that. You're going to have to come outside and party and I, with us one weekend I, I in the club to. or whatever. But I don't see you outside. So like where do you be gra- like grabbing and, and gathering your new motivation when it comes to music? I just, I look on the internet mm-hmm. and just see like what everybody doing. Mm-hmm. I just put it in my own way. Like if I was there. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good way to look at it. No, that's how I look at it. When you first open your phone, what would be the first app you get on? I look at my 10 message. Really? Yeah. I'm Man. Instagram, man. Nigga, I got to go. I got to see what happened last night that I missed. You know, I try to stay off of Instagram because there's so many other niggas from my city that rapping and shit. So mm-hmm. I be looking. If I ain't doing it, I be like, damn. Yeah. Boy. It make you like feel some type of way. So I try not to get on yeah. Instagram. For yeah. When I first wake up, I'm not getting on Instagram. How do you find the balance between having a following and having folks that really fuck with you and then just, you know, being your normal self, playing Call of Duty, trying to make that time for your kids and stuff? Do that be difficult or do you, have you like kind of mastered it? No, I don't master it. It's cool. It's all right. It's not, it's not like, it's, I don't master this shit so much mm-hmm. to the point like, it's just regular. Mm-hmm. It ain't nothing to me. Yeah. That's real. New music on the way? Yeah, I got I got this um this track called Monster. I got um a big feature on now. Mm-hmm. I you won't believe the song, the feature that I got on there, I did it here in this studio. That's crazy. I don't wanna spoil it. That was gonna be my next question. That's what's so Cause crazy. Cause I seen you in the studio with a couple new funds. It was crazy. Shout out to that boy TC. The day I think you had came, we had just left. We had to go. I think I had to go host somewhere. I'm like, man, I think be slide pulling out. I think you should talk me. I would have came through. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it, do you want to reveal it, or or do or do you just want to talk about how the record came about? I ain't gonna reveal it. Okay. Okay. We're gonna hold it down. Then. Man, fuck it, bro. We're gonna tell him. <laughs> we gotta tell him. That man B slime was in the studio with Vert. Ooh. How did that how did that collaboration come about? You know, how long I, y'all known each other? I been met I been met Uzi a mm-hmm. long time ago, like my first time seeing him. I knew who he was, but he didn't know who I was. Mm-hmm. And he came to throw one of the throw parties. Mm-hmm. And I'm just sitting in the room, like I'm sitting back, I see everybody like embracing, like Uzi, Uzi, they going crazy over. Mm-hmm. And me, I'm just like on the wall, like just looking at him. And he like, he at my auntie like, hey, who is that? Who is him? Why you mugging me? <laughs> I'm like, she like, oh, that's my nephew. He like, oh, then he walk up. He looking, he said, what's up? I said, what's up, bro? <laughs> and then I seen Thor, like, Thor be telling me, like, bro, you got to start speaking to people. Yeah. At the time, I went stunned trying to speak to him. Mm-hmm. I knew who he was, but I ain't finna show you, like, mm-hmm. bro, oh, this oozing. No, yeah. you about to say, what's up, be slime first. <laughs> so it was like, ever since then, we just locked in. But that's all right. We be going back and forth, DM testing each other. Mm-hmm. Then we just linked up in the studio. How was nah. that studio session like? You know, it, it's a legendary studio. If you don't know about Mean Street Studios, some of the most, I'm talking about Barter Six, Victory Lap Nipsey. There's been a lot of them motherfuckers that then came out this studio. Right. Take us back to the studio session. Bro, I had the song. Nigga, I'm in the studio with them like days. So first song we do, mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, cool. Then how I be thinking, my thinking process, how I be thinking, I'm thankful now. Mm-hmm. I got a song called Monster, so I'm like, hey, boy, I be seeing you at these festivals, bro. You be going crazy. Mm-hmm. Man, I got a song that's going to go right for a festival. It called Monster. Yeah. He like, let me hear it. As soon as I just play the beat, as soon as he hear, like, the first sound, he like, put it up, put it up. <laughs> bro, you want me to leave before I even put him on it? And nigga, I think drummer was in here. Mm-hmm. Other folks, they like. Hey, bro, this is a hit. This is one of the ones. Right. Without, without him on it, this song is still a hit. That's all right. Like, say less. So I'm like, man, nigga, get on the song. Man, we got that type of bun. Like, I call him like. Yeah. He like big bro, but he like little bro. Mm-hmm. So he, I'm like, man, get on the song. He like, say less. He called me to the studio every night. Man, pull up. I need to see you. Pull up, pull up, pull up. I'm like, all right, bro, I'm on the way. I'm trying to have sex. He like, man, pull up. <laughs> man, forget all that, man. Pull up. I'm like, say less, bro. That's all right. We just locked in. That's good to have those genuine relationships because I already know it play a... You can hear it in the music. You right. know what I'm saying? You you can definitely hear it in the music when it comes to having those good relationships and stuff like that. Uh, for the one time, Free Thug. Not free you know thug, what I'm saying? Sure. Till it's backwards. One of my favorite visuals from you 
is is whipping it. I mean, when you drop that, I was like, boy, that nigga be slamming on that motherfucking <laughs> trail. <laughs> well, um, with, you know, being related to Thug and just being able to see, like, him grow, how have you been able to take that into your mental process? Like, okay, I'm be slime. This is what I got to do. Like, take us back to that video shoot. Because it just looked like it was a lot of fun when y'all was doing that. Bro, you this how the song came about. I'm going to tell you how the song came about. Mm-hmm. We in Atlanta. We at the condo. This nigga just bought a, a G63 Benz. And when I when I first looked at it, I'm like, boy, this motherfucker shaped like a bullet. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I like that band, bro. So I get in the early morning. He waking me up because I live with him. Mm-hmm. I like the little growl. He done tuned his bands up. So I'm like, every morning we waking up, he just listen to it. He slime burning out of shit like that. So I'm like, cool. Bro. I love this car. Bro. I want this car here. So I was just in the studio. I'm like, I was just whipping that bands. Yeah. This that bully fucker. But he knew what I was talking about the whole time. Did nobody else know. Mm-hmm. But. I said, bro, I gotta make a song about this Benz. I let him hit. He like, man, I gotta get on that motorcycle, bro. <laughs> I got to. I love that car. Nigga. That, 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 everything he he showed me though, I took it in. Yeah. Just be doing it, like my own way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's hard. Top three Atlanta artists of all time. The. Mm-hmm. Um, I like Pluto, for sure. Bro, it's too many. I can't say it ain't no top. You gotta give me this is my three outcast, thug, and then I'm going WAP. Only because of the influence. Future honorable mention future. But I like was, WAP. Okay, okay, I say. I gotta go WAP because it was like that nigga changed shit. And go WAP. That's solid. TC, what's your list? Atlanta, future, thug. Jeezy. You like Jeezy over what? Jeezy. He was walking around with them snowman shirts back in the day. You he know, he was doing around. that. <laughs> he was doing that. He was doing that. I'm a little older than y'all niggas. Yeah. I was around Gucci shit, so I respect Yeah. What's so crazy? And yeah, I, like, I like the Jeezy more than Gucci. Really? <laughs> it just Gucci. He give you that. That it's just that, that thug, uh, too. Yeah, it's that, like, damn, that, nigga. That growl, like, you made me want to go sell yeah. a crack rock out this hole. I just went to school, you mean? Jeezy. <laughs> nigga, he had this. But you remember, I was young. I still remember this. Mm-hmm. Nigga, Jeezy come out with that. Jeezy, the snowman. Every old nigga in my hood got, these nigga got bought Chevys. <laughs> on fold. These nigga, these nigga like. Who you think had more of an influence? Whopper Jeezy. I say, what? I'm out of Jeezy. Jeezy got every nigga on the trap. That's true. He had every nigga in the city that trap, that want to trap. He, he the reason niggas trapping right now. Damn. Wop got everybody on that. He just gave you that, that growl. Mm. The tough gangster. Yeah. That's why I listen to Wop. I like Wop more. But Jeezy, he influenced a lot of niggas to got them go trap. Go get that money. Go get it. You feel me? Right. What's two things on B Slime's artist bucket list this year that you got to get done? Uh, two things that I got to get. Fourth quarter, December 31st, you can mark them off like I did that. I got to get a million. And um, I got to make sure everybody around me, like my team, everybody's straight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. How important is that having just that camaraderie? Because I seen you came with your folks. It was all smiles. It was good energy. How nah, important is that having that camaraderie always with you? Now nah, they they see we be we be in the hood talk about this. Like mm-hmm. I get on the phone with them and really like have these conversations. Like it probably gonna be to the point where all of us gonna be like everybody gonna be straight and ain't that it ain't nothing but some. Nigga, I got it. You got it. Mm-hmm. You got it. I got. It. If I don't got it and you got it, nigga, it's like we still got it. Mm-hmm. So I just keep that in with them. I always tell them, like, but we going to get it. I don't care how long it take. We ain't finna give up. It can be hard. This shit can go rock bottom. Yeah. But we going to keep pushing it to the time. For sure. By any means. By any means. We going to get it. We going to get it. What's next for B-Slime? We got an album on the way. We got some, no, I'm some go, singles. Um, I'm going to go single. I'm going, like, you and me, I'm going to go single for six months straight. Like, just singles. Got you. I'm going to go, um... October, I think Halloween, I might, I'm gonna drop Monster with Uzi. 
you gonna have to give it to us first so we we can have icebergs. No, for sure. It, you for know sure. what I'm saying? I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop prepared, Monster yeah. with Uzi October. And then I might come back with a single Baby Drill, Huncho, um, right. Savage and Nudie one on. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm gonna come though. That's the rollout though. So you 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 putting it together. Yeah, I'm already putting it together. And then you got Sean Delaware coming up. Right. Do you like traveling out of town doing shows or how how does that be? I know some artists don't like Nah, like, cool. They be like, ah, I'd rather be at the crib doing them doing my show or something. Nah, that shit be cool. It really ain't nothing. Mm -hmm. Cause I done seen it. Once upon a time, I was watching Thug. Mm -hmm. I used to travel with him, private just we going club to club, and I'm just looking at it like, oh, this shit cool. Mm -hmm. I ain't like it at first. Like, I don't even like going to Miami. If you tell me right now we finna book a trip and we having fun, we going to Miami. I'm like, nah, man. That I'm guy, I'm straight on. I love Atlanta so much, bro. Every ain't nowhere like Atlanta. It ain't nothing better. It ain't nothing like Atlanta. They say Houston try to be a close second, but Houston just got they just got a lot of women, big women. Yeah, it's all women. Ain't nothing to it. Ain't nothing. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing like. Atlanta, ain't nothing like Atlanta. Ain't nothing like Atlanta. Is there any know. other place you think you would live though? I think I'd give New York a shot. I go. I go New York. I might go Philly. I ain't never been to Philly. You never been to Philly. Never been to Philly. What be the vibes out there? Oh, they they just be on us, bro. How we dress is like yeah. weird to them niggas. For real, we gotta come them up for Dicky <laughs> Tim's. You see how Meek Mill be dressed? Yeah, how they really is. Niggas like that, for swinging their feet and shit. <laughs> Shout out to Meek Mill. Bro, I used to, it was this it was this girl I used to deal like I was talking to. Mm -hmm. She used to be telling me like you drawing. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know no goddamn. They they slang up there. It's like you drawing. Yeah. I'm like, what is that, bro? You tripping? We don't say no drawing out here, man. You cap or goddamn, man. You got a nigga fucked up. Man. She like, man, you drawing? So I, I advert what that mean. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, what the hell drawing mean? He like, bro, you drawing <laughs> right now? <laughs> you drawing right now? I'm like, you, you don't know what that mean? Like, I don't bro. even know what that. What does it bro, mean? That shit like, it like, bro, you. I don't know, bro. I got to I gotta see. <laughs> yeah, like okay. you OD. Just off you of drawing, like bro, you drawing? drawing, yeah, you drawing, oh, you drawing, like, bro, I'm like, yeah, she it, tell me that. This like, name be a little bit different. Than nah, that. they tripping. It's cool though. That yeah, shit cool vibe. Yeah. It be a vibe up there though. It's we cool. Gotta, we gotta take a trip up there. Well, hey man, I'm so glad you had a chance to come through, come talk to us. Um, sure. You know, we got a lot of work we gonna do. You gotta come through one Saturday. You gotta come pop it with us. You know what I'm saying? When you drop monster, we gonna we gonna do a whole little rollout for it in the club. You feel me? I can't wait. But um, most much success to you, bro. I can't wait to see what you do next. I already know. Uh, Monster gonna be in here. Like I said, you gotta give it to us first so we can have our our two million listeners go ahead and jam. Hey, you only. I'm, I'm, I'm a, before we leave. I'm gonna make sure y'all get it now. Come on, come on. Air airdrop on nigga. Air iPad and the I mean, phone on. You, Send it to us. You feel me? Another edition of Who to Watch for. I got my brother B Slime in the studio. Make sure you guys are on the lookout for everything he got coming up next, and make sure you guys always tune in to us eight to ten p.m. right here on Shade Four Five.